Hearts of Iron 4, a game where you can sink in a thousand hours and still don't know the mechanics of such things as the Navy or the Air Force. Many people struggle to master it, but only a few get to the level that allows them to obliterate beginners in such a way that they uninstall and never play the game ever again. But today, it is not us that's gonna be uninstalling, because I may or may not have been one of these that play Hoi 4 for a little bit too much. And he's trying something south of Stockholm, but the counter, look at these beautiful counters. Oh, yes! Oh, 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 yes! Gustav is relentless. Gustav really reminds me of the beautiful esports player that just harasses you the whole time. You may never have time to breathe. Beautiful to see that. And Christoph looking like prime favorite here to take in number one. And this is the first time I'm seeing second last game, and now Christoph, that genuinely impressed me. Where I'm genuinely like, God damn, they could probably even beat me. Hey, so China versus one special thing like that. They're showing skill, they're showing great macro, micro, I'm very, very impressed. He surrendered. Yeah. He gave up. Look at Christoph. Oh, hold on, I'm switching to Christoph's point of view there. The celebration, he was just so happy. Arms in the air, look at him go. Oh, you love to see it. We're playing in qualifiers on Hearts of Iron 4 Commander's 1v1 mod. Rules are simple. You win as many qualifier games as possible, you get the best rating, you win against the top 16 that also qualified, and then you're being taken to Stockholm Game Arena, where you'll fight at a live LAN game in front of 450 people for the grand prize of $20,000. Sponsored by Paradox, thank you. Simple? Alright. Qualifier Game 1. <laughs> Let's begin. Hello, hello my valued viewers and welcome to the first stream of the Hoi4 International Qualifier ELO matches. Into the first game we go. We go for the Hayame Sugiyama as the army reformer, then we are going for the industrial company. Alright, army reformer. Let's see his pick. Is that gonna be army reformer? We don't see it yet. We don't see it yet, but what might it be? That's the army attack guy. Good choice for uh, early game, for early game rushes. But it might lack in the doctrine later on. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna plan it. Like this front, I'm gonna plan it till around this, but these positions. From here, I'm gonna rush it with more try strikes to capture Stalingrad. And we'll see how we'll do. This is a big infantry map, and because I'm going Panzer Gouvets, I'm going the Space Mariners, which means I have to get the good tanks that I get from here very early on. I'm gonna prepare the template soon, uh, but first of all, I'm gonna have to increase the width and give Ari on his support. Bop! Gun 2. Uh, let's do this. Obviously, we get the Professional Army Corps. After this, we're gonna go for the suicide pills. Ooh, ooh, I know what. <laughs> almost forgot about doing air. Oh, for Rico, how, how, how funny. Actually, I should do classes from the start because I already get a hundred improved small airframes. Can already pick political loyalty, which will give me stability on war. That's awesome. Bye, 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 bye. I don't wanna produce none of y'all. Let's make the cast design already. There you go, thank you very much. Oh, let's not make the cast design yet actually, because I need the anti-tank too, for the heavy anti-tank cannon. For now, let's make just the basic design of the airplane, which is engine three, two good guns, self ceiling, and two armor. But actually, the air zones are quite big, which is uh, which means that I'm gonna pick this one. All right, okay, uh, this tank is good. Hold on, I'm gonna upgrade it to have a heavy gun, to have this. And uh, obviously some maybe slopped, sloppy armor. Sloppy armor is always good. Let's add the tanks to our infantry. Although I still wanted to do some of these. Because these are going to be very, very much needed later. I'm just going to make two of these to go over here to Stalingrad. And capture me this area. Uh, do I really need any of these? Infantry genius and tank genius are going to be very good to have at the start of the war. Which starts in 65 days. Uh, the tanks are going quickly and steadily, very good, very good, till the start of the war, 50 days, 50 days, uh, so I'm, I need to get more infantry out, this infantry order is gonna go here, I'm gonna turn off the automatic uh, disposal to the main army, and this army is gonna be the southern army, which will go through here and expand to here. Bop, 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 and it's gonna be under mm, Erwin Rommel. His job is to go to Stalingrad as quickly as possible. This boy is gonna be incredibly quick to produce and we could do the last design of the airplane this is gonna be our best 
freaking cast you'll ever see. Come on, baby boy. Bam. I'm already installing, right? That's very good for me. Let's expand to the south here. Ooh, he's got tanks over here. All right, let's last them then. All right, let's stop the plan. Stop the plan to go through over here. He's got a lot of tanks, which means that I have to stop this and make the normal defense. Oh, he's got a lot of divisions over here. Let's get him on the Lista and get more troops into Stalingrad himself. Are we winning on this front? Yes, we kind of are, actually. I'm winning for now, as you can see over here. Three out of five. Three out of five VPs that I have. Okay, let's restart the battle and let's win it. Hmm, it's not winning the battle. The battle is not battling. Uh, it's gonna be fixed when Cass can arrive, to be honest. Okay, what are you good? <laughs> what are you doing here, my guy? Are you, are you battle planning? That's not a thing that you should do. I got a positive on tanks, which means that I can build a little more. And bam, not a concentrated attack. Oh, that's a heavy tank. I'm gonna get it down there and place it on the Guderian. And, and I also really need these five divisions that are gonna be defending Alista. Just deploying them right now and getting this motorized division over here. It's co oh, okay, Stalingrad is not connected. Let's connect it. Oh my god, what are you doing? Yikes, what are you doing, my god? <sighs> right, big lad, Cass has arrived. You cut off my supply, not very cool of you. I don't really want to fight in this uh, situation with my tank, although I am gonna make one more railway from up here, so just so you don't do it again. Okay, do you have any attack vectors? Do you have any attack vectors on me? No, you don't. Got supply back in the south, gonna take this free tile. Okay, I'm gonna. Ooh, look at it. Huge cast. I have the range for all of the map. Oh, will I need you? Yes, yes, I will. And manpower. That's what I'm, I'm gonna lack in a minute. Are oh, you really trying to do that? Okay, let me go there with my heavy tank. Okay, we can chill for a little bit for now. Uh, I definitely know that. Ooh, logistics. That's what I'll need. That's fine, that's fine. Let's produce one on heavy tank because of why not. But look at that! Oh, stats, man. That's some stats on these. Gonna take this out. Yeah, I'm gonna take this out in no time. Bang. I just banged him. Uh, and what I'm gonna do in a minute is I'm gonna launch myself at the city of Mikolaevka from this side and this side. The first push is gonna come over here from this supply hub and then I'm gonna try to connect it from Stalingrad, which is a viable tactic because uh, the proximity of Stalingrad being very good for the capture of Mikolaevka. But for now, Let's entrench this out because it seems like he really likes attacking it because he's the closest to Stalingrad. Uh, get the motorized over here and prepare to launch an attack on these tiles right here. And maybe actually let's get more of these space mariners um, on top, on, on in, in the middle of the front over here. Is he producing any air? No, he's not. He's just going more and more into the tanks. He's probably not going to have any guns, which will mean that I'm going to have more infantry than him long term. Let's make a small distracting push over here and start maybe logistic striking him. Oh, fuck. He's just reinforced the front here. So the only choice I have right now is to get this front running and force him to start activity on this front and to get his troops from here over here. Okay, that's really good. Bop, 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 bop. Got cast. Okay, starting the attack from here. Mm -hmm. Just as I thought, he was gonna have a defense line over here. Oh, he's he's battle planning. That's a battle plan. What do we need to do with right now is just hold against it and cause losses, cause losses as much as you can and exploit his uh, stupid battle plan movement. Gonna go back to Litebsk and Vornish, because we can afford it for now. Should be running out of equipment soonish. Oh, don't really want to lose this one. Come on, come on. He's just taking Vornish. Wow, that's uh, not the best for me. Hey, Mikolaevka is captured. He's taking the supply hub, not very good for me. But that might be a huge encirclement right over here. There we go, that's encircled. Let's maybe not lose Mikolaevka again. Oh yeah, I should care up ah, I should care more about the agency. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what you're gonna do. Okay, these events are lost. Got it. Now we're gonna start the counter push from here. That we and uh, now we encircle his divisions. Ho ho ho. Still have the air dominance. Just like I said, you only have to hold uh, if you are up against a, uh, a guy that's battle planning. And if you hold, it's basically a free, free game. Yeah, he's trying to do that. I wonder what's gonna happen. Ooh, he actually almost got a Mikolaev cover here. If I, that was close, that was close. I almost didn't realize that. <laughs>
go. That's a big push that I need to win. Nothing on the south still. Getting really close to Tumbrov now. Uh, exactly what I told you what was gonna happen happened. He has no equipment in his tanks anymore. He ran out. He's ran out completely. Now that I have this, and I maybe shouldn't Joe Biden on this. Go back to I, I need to wait for the supplies still. Uh, drop this. It's gonna circle me a little bit here. It shouldn't uh, be that bad. Bap, 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 bap. Let's make this happen. Oh, he's snaking me. Try me. Can't let him get out. Oh, he got out. I also retook the city of Borzglev. Let's get more people going there. We don't really need to push that much over here. Bap, we're all on our call terrain. Okay, fire brigades. The air is uh, still good. Mm -hmm. More divisions to hold this, please. Come on, bap. Maybe try that. There we go, huge. We cut, uh, we cut off the railway. And now his divisions are all encircled. Even the ones over here. Bap, bap, bap. Bap, bap. Don't know what he's trying to do with these. He's just gonna get himself encircled once again over here. Ah, if I last end it. Ah, oh, there we go. I managed to do it. Oh. Oh, there it all go, there it all go, die, die, yes, click, esports boys, esports, right here you see, let's take Tambrev, he's in shambles, he's in complete shambles, he doesn't know what's going on around him, again in circlement over here, counter in circlement, come on counter in circlement, bam 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 bam, yes, yes, we win these, come on, how are you not dead yet, click, I'm sorry that I can't read the chat, but I'm doing something. Bam! Die! Cass, why are you not here? Go! Bam, 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 baby, bam, 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 It's fucking over, my mate. You lost too much. You lost too much. And now I'm gonna push you. Haha, <laughs> you're too slow! There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Woo! There we go. That was a quickie. Ugh, there we go. GG.